The most fascinating man in basketball for me is Carl Malone. Carl Malone has a unique perspective on most everything. So I sat down with Carl for a series of chats to find out just what the heck happening in Carl Malone's brain. This is all Malone, all alone with Carl Malone. <laughs> We're here with Carl Malone. Carl Malone, when you're the mailman, I mean, there's nobody else. Let's be honest, I would even want that nickname because it's a weird nickname to have, right? No. It's not. But. So when you're at home. Yes, sir. And the mail comes to your house, the guy with the, I assume it's a guy? OK. You know him? Uh, no, sir. You don't know your mailman? No, sir. Well, that seems odd. Don't you think he'd want to? I mean, that's got to be a big thing for him. He's like, hey, I'm the mailman. I'm delivering to the mailman. <laughs> They're the real ones. Yeah, the real ones. I would just got a nickname. So you feel no kinship with postal carriers, the US Postal Service at all? Absolutely. You Absolutely. do? Yes. But you don't know who. But I got a big question. What is the question? <laughs> <laughs> it ain't the male men and women fault. Whose fault is it? Well, you ain't let me finish what I'm about okay. to say. Okay, oh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. You know, how do our postal service lose one, two, three billion dollars a year and still stay in business? Right, because you as a mailman, you made a lot of money. You still make a lot of money. You didn't lose money. How you know I make a lot of money? I read in the newspapers. You believe that? You have an auto dealership. Do you believe what you read in the newspaper? In this case, yes. So here's the rule. Don't believe nothing you read. Okay. And half of what you see. Because your so eyes could be lying to you. You're not making any money? I did not say that. Well, I said you're making money. You said, how do you know that? And I said, well, I read it. And you said, don't believe it. And I said, well, are you making money? And you said, yes. Okay. So in this case, we can believe it. Well, yeah. But the, I, your I, point is, you don't understand how the Postal Service is, in a way, disgracing your name by losing money every year. Well, I guess, I guess you can say Would that. you be willing to help them? Yes. You would? Any way I could. Well, I hope the Postmaster General is listening. <laughs> the mailman is here to deliver, and he wants to help you. How would you help the post office? Well, we would have a conversation and say, OK, why do we get brand new postal trucks every couple years? I don't know. The postal trucks on my block seem to be about 30 years old. Well, that's There's really a guy pushing it with one leg up the hill. Uh, you're going to hell. <laughs> I'm going to hell. Yes. Well, this you're is talking about a, You're talking about a one-legged postal? No, he's got two <laughs> legs. You're just using one. You know, there's no door on the thing. Oh, uh, Carl Malone, we are miscommunicating. No, really no, you are going to hell, Jimmy. <laughs> I, well, that may be true. Well, I'm, I'll be there with you. How do you know that? Did you read that? What? Then I'm going to hell. No, just making fun of a person. Push I wasn't you. No, you did. How you say he was doing it? I said he was. How did you say he was doing it? I don't sure. know. Just like a, riding a skateboard. Go ahead, in your chair. Uh -huh. What were you doing? I uh, see. You're going to hell. He's right. I am going to hell. I'm going with you. Thank you, Carl Malone. Thanks, Carl. I'll see you in hell. Thanks for watching. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?